I'm Graham with Fair Game, and this is a parent's guide to Pokemon. In this video, we're gonna be answering the question, what should I buy? So I guess the long and short answer is it depends on whom you're buying for. If you're buying for someone, maybe it's your child or grandchild or niece or nephew, and they uh, just like to collect the cards and show them off to their friends and play them at school, then they are a collector. Conversely, if you have someone who likes to play the trading card game or you and yours are interested in actually playing the Pokemon card game, then we would call you a player. There's a certain set of things we would recommend for a player as opposed to a collector. First, let's shop for the collectors. If you don't know at all really what this person is interested in, let's assume that they're a collector. Pokemon is a big collecting game. It's a lot like baseball cards or trading cards, except that you can play a game with them. A good pickup for any collector is a variety box, kind of like this, where there's a jumbo card on the inside and then a smaller version of that exact same card that you can actually play with. Uh, this is sort of a featured Pokemon of the box. So in this case, we've got this Pikachu V card that's being featured here. Uh, these boxes are also gonna come with a variety of individual booster packs, and those are gonna come with a bunch of different Pokemon cards. So lots of good things in here for collectors. Another thing to pick up for collectors might be one of these variety tins. Now, uh, sometimes they come with a featured card on front, not always, but they're usually gonna come with some packs on the inside that are all from different sets of Pokemon cards, and that's great because with different sets means different variety. Lastly, it's always a good choice to get the Pokemon collector in your life a couple of loose packs of Pokemon cards. So what if they like to play the Pokemon trading card game, though? Let's talk about the players. Well, for one, they might really like an Elite Trainer Box. Not only do the Elite Trainer Boxes come with uh, several packs of Pokemon cards that are all from the same set, but they're also gonna come with the box itself, which uh, mirrors the art that's on the front of the packaging, along with uh, sleeves and uh, energy and dice to keep track of damage. There's a lot of great accessories that come in this box in addition to a bunch of packs that all come from the same set. And speaking of cards coming from the same set, you want to get them a bunch of packs that are all from the same set if they are playing the Pokemon trading card game. That's because when you're building a deck of Pokemon cards, you probably want some good cards in your deck that you're going to see very consistently. The best way to see cards consistently is to have multiple copies of the same card. And the best way to get multiple copies of a card is to get multiple packs from the same set. If you're feeling fancy, you might consider getting a box of Pokemon cards. Uh, these boxes usually have 36 packs inside of them, but they're sold at a slight discount. You might be able to get uh, boxes of these for $110, $120, $130, depending on how valuable that set is. If you're not feeling so fancy and you don't want to buy a big box all like this, then just picking up multiple packs that are all from the same set is the way to go. But wait, Graham, what if we want to play the Pokemon trading card game, but we really haven't had a chance to do that yet? If you are just starting out playing the Pokemon trading card game, there's nothing better than a pre-made deck of Pokemon cards. These are really great for three reasons. One, to make a pack of Pokemon cards, you need a bunch of energy that's going to help supply those Pokemon's moves. The Pokemon deck comes with all the energy you need. In the Pokemon trading card game, certain Pokemon evolve from specific other Pokemon cards, meaning that you need those specific Pokemon cards already on the table in order to play and use these other Pokemon cards. And these are usually pretty strong. The pre-made Pokemon deck already has all the Pokemon you need to get to those strong cards. Lastly, decks of Pokemon cards often have trainer cards, which are items or characters that help you play the game. You guessed it, pre-made decks come with those as well. Keep in mind that pre-made decks are not random, so you're gonna get the specific cards listed on the back of this, which means you do not need to buy multiples of the same deck. And just like before, if you're looking to get into the Pokemon trading card game and you wanna build your own decks, then you wanna get boxes that come with multiple packs all from the same set. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out the next video in our series where we ask the question, where do I start if I want to play the Pokemon trading card game?